What's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. As you can see here, we've got the new SCX6 Honcho from Axial and I brought out the old SCX6 Wrangler. Got me and my buddy out here. We're going to drive these over some obstacles. It's going to be a good time on the rocks, see how the new truck performs and see if it can outrun the old Jeep. So this is my first trip out with the new Honcho. Haven't driven it much at all. Around the front living room. Across the front yard a few times. Stopped into Sky RC and showed it off to Cody there. But I'm really excited to see how this thing performs. I was always a really big fan of the Jeep and had a ton of fun with that. I love the way that these trucks weight and size handles out on these rocks. It's just, it feels so much different than the tent scale. It's an entirely different driving experience. So here we can see you got the SCX6 Wrangler coming down. This one I've got some upgrades on. I've got Spec RC CNC wheels on there, as well as Proline Super Swamper tires, some steady foam tire foam inserts. It's been a fun rig, but outside of that, it's mostly stock actually. And that's one thing that uh, I think I'm gonna change on the new truck is that I'm gonna start doing more upgrades like overdrive, maybe some metal axles, definitely some shock towers. We're gonna mess around with the new one and see what kind of upgrades we can find for these. It's funny when you start to realize just how big of obstacles these can handle, especially when compared to my tent scale stuff. Like this is not something I would normally look at as a line, but with this big of a truck, and seven inch tall tires, it really just doesn't care. Maybe it cares a little bit. Grab second gear to get some momentum, then grab first, crawl out. This does have a censored brushless system from Spectrum, and I believe it has FOC, which means as it encounters more resistance, it ramps up power automatically for a smooth driving experience. Oh yeah. Jeep powered right through on that one. So Cameron found a line he wanted to try in the Jeep. So we're gonna see how it handles it. Trying to use that wall on the front passenger a little bit. It's so close, it's just hitting a link or something underneath. Come on, Swampers. Did you shift it? Yeah. Is it never shifted? You got to take the tension off the drivetrain a little bit. Oh, there, you See, go. there you go. And then it loses drag brake. So here he is in second, getting ready for maybe a little bit of a bump or some wheel speed. Driving like a real Jeep driver there. There we go. Now we're going to get the honcho in here. Both of these trucks have got the light systems all hooked up. They both look great. Honcho has a ton of LEDs on the front. I'm really curious how this will actually light up the trail at night. Oh, it almost had it. <laughs> I think the front end needs to be closer to this wall. Maybe use this rock up here just a little bit. I timed it wrong. All right now. There she goes. Nice. That was a good obstacle. So another awesome change Axial has made to this truck is now it comes with Falcon Wild Peak tires, which is a new six scale tire option for the SCX6. Always awesome to see some new options and these tires look great. They're very soft in their feel. I don't know if they changed the compound from the KM3 or if it's just the tread design, but they feel softer and I'm, I'm liking them so far. I think we need to get some dual stage foams in there and it'll really wake it up. But I do also really like the G8 uh, Super Swampers from Proline as well. Always just a fun, cool looking line here. Nothing real technical, but it's fun to drive through anyway. We're going to 
find out if we're gonna put our first race stripes on the truck here. Rocky Mountain pinstripes is what the Utah people call them. Narrow canyon, perfect for an SCX6. Except for we're gonna have to get up on top of this ledge here to turn out. Oh, just kept the cab off the rocks. Look at all those lights up front, looks great. LEDs, they're not gonna take much power. Won't take much run time, especially from the big packs you're gonna run in the SCX6. I am using Spectrum G2 smart batteries and 5,000 milliamps in this truck, 5,000 in that truck. And if I were going out with one, I could put both of them in one truck. Yep, Jeep body's a little bit different through there. <laughs> That's all right, she got her done. All right, guys, this is one of my favorite obstacles on an RC trail I have out here. Usually really tricky and you need like a buggy style tent scale, but luckily with how big these are, it really just opens up terrain for these things. So this is the issue I keep kind of seeing with this truck early on is just it's wanting to unload on me. So maybe I'll have to do a little shock tuning and try and figure that out. Yeah, she'll hold on this time. I don't know if I got a good shot of that. And then continue up and around. Just that inside sidewall holding us on. Oh, okay, pulled through. It's gonna unload on us, so I'm gonna take a reverse. All right, got it done. So now we're gonna see Cameron bring the Jeep up through here. Ah, oh, just unloaded him at the wrong time. So once he gets his front driver hooked on this top ledge, it'll pull that front end into it and it'll hold on. Cameron's trying to use the passenger rear to hold the nose down. So once you get pressure against that passenger rear, it forces the front back down. Float it all the way up in there. It's gonna force it down and hook. That was awesome. Great driving there. Yeah, hold it towards you, your diff is on the rock. Yep, it's nice and easy. Right there, you can turn and bring it forward. Oh, so close. Yep, yep, yep. Sick. All right. The Wrangler still gets it done. Both of these things are super fun. So if you're a Jeep guy, obviously, you're probably gonna go for the Wrangler. I've always wanted an SCX6 truck, so I'm super excited that Axial brought out the Honcho. And I really like the rear details of the cage work and whatnot. It's such a good looking truck. Cameron's up there standing under a truck on our 15 foot ledge. Let's check out the second gear speed on these trucks though. On a nice sandy patch. These things really move out in second gear. If you find the right formation, you can get them airborne pretty easy. They don't do huge jumps, but little hops here and there. I really enjoy the two speed on these trucks. Just for videos, it's kind of hard to film something moving that fast. So I usually stick to first gear and crawling. Let's check out this line right here. Just looking for that traction. I just drove up this, I know it's here. There she goes. And here we go, it's a really cool crossover ledge. Just a little shorter than the tire is. Bring the front end up. And then we're gonna take the rear one tire at a time as well. Just 
start pushing that rear over. Look at the way that rear tire folds. We're gonna turn into it and pull the rear up. We also need to time the front to make it up. There it goes. Now we're gonna get vertical with it. getting steep. Don't unload on me. There we go. Those tires are biting and getting traction. Uh-oh. Right as I said it, they started to let go. Nice. That was a big climb. Poncho, that was awesome. Really liking these tires too. Like I say, just some different foams could really bring this truck to life. Not that it doesn't already do awesome. So a pretty serious rainstorm came in not too long ago and washed out all the sand. This is a really fun little obstacle that I play on often. And the last time I came here through, came through here with an SCX-6, there's sand in the bottom. And so I had to approach it like this to get my tires up the wall in the Jeep. I kind of fell off there, but it might bring itself back around. Front tires are pinched and climbing. Rear tire really wadded up. But the key is trying to get this right rear up. So maybe the driver reverse. But if I go too crazy, then my front driver won't come up. So we gotta get the bumpers in the wall there. There we go. Rear tires up, steering's bound up. Oh, she's a lifting tire. She settled down. Now I'm concerned this rear tire is way too high. It's gonna tip over on the driver's side. That's it, that's what I want right there. Yep. Yep. Yes. Turn back into it. Nice. First time I've ever done that without sand in the bottom. And this is that same vertical climb that we just played on a second ago. So there's two ways to get up to it. Well, all right, guys, that was awesome out here with the new Axial SCX6 Honcho. You can find an affiliate link down below if you want to learn more about the truck. Check it out on A-Main Hobbies or Horizon. I have an affiliate to both. Uh, you can also pick up stuff from Amazon. I have an affiliate there, too. Check out my website, westdesertwheeler.com. And, uh, yeah, until next time, we will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.